Did you know that the average American throws out more than 68 pounds of clothing per year? However, nearly 100% of textiles and clothing are recyclable. The EPA estimates that diverting all those trash textiles into an upcycling program would be the equivalent of taking 7.3 million cars and their carbon dioxide emissions off the road. Utilizing the FCCLA planning process, I began by identifying a concern. After visiting my local Humane Society, I realized over 80 animals currently consider that their temporary home. Unfortunately, very few of these animals will be adopted due to exposure to harmful diseases and lack of proper veterinary care. I knew I would not be able to get all the animals proper homes. However, I could provide a more comfortable environment for them while they're at the Humane Society. Using the information I have discovered about upcycling t-shirts, I realized they will be the perfect item to upcycle into pet beds for the animals. Again, using the FCCLA planning process, I set a goal. The goal I set was to create 80 pet beds of recycled items. And what better item to use than old t-shirts? They're soft, easily available, and durable. Hello, I'm Nandini Patel from Ben Hill County, and today I would like to walk you through my t-shirt pet bed project. I would now like to describe my material profile for my upcycled pet beds. Three materials were used for this project, t-shirt fabric, thread, and polyfill. The t-shirts are primarily 50% cotton and 50% polyester. However, some are 100% cotton. They should be machine washed on gentle in cold water. When drying, tumble dry on low heat. To avoid any shrinkages, air dry. I used the Coats and Clarks all-purpose polyester thread. The last material I used was polyfill. Polyfill is 100% recycled plastic or polyester fibers. This should be machine washed on a gentle machine cycle in warm water. Then air dry or tumble dry on an air or low heat setting. I would also like to describe my cost itemization. The t-shirts, thread, needle, sewing machine, and polyfill were all free of charge because they were either donated by my FCCLA advisor or some things such as thread or needles were leftovers from a different project, leaving my total for five items at zero dollars and zero cents. Next, I would like to describe my time log. On day one, I started my research on how pet beds are created. This took me about two hours. Then I spent five minutes making a list of what I need. Sketching dimensions took 21 minutes. I planned what fabric material I was going to use, which took about 10 minutes. On day two, collecting materials took almost three hours. I spent one hour measuring and cutting my template. Using that template to measure and cut my fabric took me one hour and 30 minutes. Then I started sewing my fabric together for 12 minutes. That was the end of day two. On day three, I finished sewing my fabric together, which took approximately 30 minutes. After that, I stuffed my pet bed, which took almost 15 minutes. After my pet bed was all fluffed up, I spent another 15 minutes hand sewing it closed. This was the completed prototype of my t-shirt pet bed. At this point, I would like to review my storyboard. First, I collected donations of t-shirts. Then, I created my pattern. Next, I cut my fabric out. After that, I sewed my fabric together. Next, I stuffed my pet bed. And finally, I hand sewed it closed. I would also like to describe my potential marketing plan. This project was originally created for the purposes of donating. However, after surveying individuals in my school and community, I realized that there is a market for these pet beds. Mainly the individuals surveyed wanted to support the local Humane Society, but they loved that it benefited the environment as well as the fact that it could possibly be personalized through vinyl embellishments. I have also identified the following environmental slogan, Upcycle for a Pet in Need. In conclusion, this project will not only benefit our environment by upcycling our t-shirts and reducing the amount of waste that is placed in our landfills, but it will also provide comfort for a pet in need. Thank you.